Check it out. Here we have some Opuntia cochina elifera. Super plagued out. But this is one of the few cacti that the plague is actually something that will live symbiotically with it. As you notice, the pads are still very green. Very uh, full of water and uh, fiber. So they grow very well with this parasite. But check out the cool benefit of having this parasite on it. If you notice over here... Some of it has been moved a bit and it's starting to turn red. But I'm going to take my knife and show you why this is one of the best forms of natural dye. So you can grab a bunch of this stuff like that. And it starts to turn into red. Now let me show you just how strong it is. Here's some burlap. Throw that on the burlap. Burlap starting to turn red. Now you can use this natural dye to dye um, what you call it, lots of clothes and uh, accessories without having to use dyes that are chemically made, uh, synthetically, you know, that are harmful to the environment and stuff. This stuff breaks down naturally, composts itself. You don't got to worry about it fucking up whatever ecosystem you put it in. Um, and this can be a great form of uh, natural dyes for the future. You know, Puntia cochinolifera can grow pretty much anywhere unless it's like extremely humid, raining all the time. But anywhere in the desert, you can grow this. Uh, you know, in areas like LA that's uh, just kind of in the middle, 70 degrees you know, uh, all the time, those climates, uh, these Opuntia cochinelli fairs really excel in, and, uh, you can definitely commercialize them, um, I've already sold thousands of them, and a lot of this, um, you know, cochinelli fera, uh, insect, which is what you can turn into dye, but yeah, quick little two cents for today, just wanted to tell you guys about this cool little cacti.